How often have you heard, you shouldn't do this or you should do that? For me, growing things is somewhat counterculture. It's like getting a tattoo or choosing what haircut you have. It should be individual to you. It should reflect you. It should reflect what you eat, what you drink. It should be filled with plants that make you smile. How's it going guys? My name's Andy from Urban Herbs and in today's video I want to talk to you about one of the products that we've actually got available in our online store. I want to talk to you about why it speaks to me personally, why it's so important to me. I want to explain a little bit of the history behind it because this isn't just a, another product off the shelf. This is a product that speaks personally to me. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the strange and beautiful herb collection that we've got available. This video isn't just an advertisement for a product that I want to sell to you, although I suppose it is in a way because I really want you to buy all of our herbs. <laughs> the reason why I want to talk to you about our strange and beautiful collection is to explain the idea behind it. I've worked in horticulture and been around horticulture for quite a long time. I know the industry quite well and we were on the show circuit for quite a long time. And in horticulture, it can be a world that doesn't encourage individualism. I found that sometimes horticulture can be a world governed by rules. How often have you heard, you shouldn't do this or you should do that? And sometimes that's good advice. For example, you shouldn't plant too much mint together because they're going to spread and fight with each other. That's good advice. You should always plant in threes. Well, in terms of garden design, that's a really, really good idea. But if you want to plant just two plants in a variety, that's absolutely fine. And that comes back to something really fundamental for me because I think that growing things is actually a really individualist thing. For me personally, it's a very, very personal thing, actually designing a growing space. I want it to reflect me. I want it to be individual. I don't want it to be the same as anybody else's. Personally, I've been at shows in the past where plant displays have been criticized if they don't use the correct font on the Latin name. And whereas I can understand that that uniformity is to be encouraged in that context, for me, growing things is somewhat counterculture. It's like getting a tattoo or choosing what haircut you have. It should be individual to you. It should reflect you. It should reflect what you eat, what you drink. It should be filled with plants that make you smile, that are different, that speak to you as an individual. And that is so important to me. I'm going to say it again, I think that growing things is actually quite a counter-culture thing to do. It's something that inspires me personally. I love the fact that my growing space is different to everybody else's. It's to be encouraged. This strange and beautiful collection, it's a collection of six plants that celebrates that. It celebrates being strange, being different, being unusual. For example, the cola plant that's in this collection, it's strange, it's beautiful. And every single plant in this collection has to be either strange or beautiful or both. It's very strict criteria. This is a collection that celebrates being different. It celebrates the individual magic and beauty of these amazing plants. The thyme, caborn, wine and roses, when that flowers, you'll see what I mean about just how beautiful it is. The same for the creeping red thyme. The basil mint, it's just bizarre. It grows like mint, tastes like basil. The cola plant, Wow, the aroma on that is just so strange. You don't expect that from this plant. The Vietnamese coriander, so much easier to grow than normal coriander. And the olive herb, well, actually, I think that's beautiful, but it's certainly strange how strong it smells of olive. I love this collection. I love the idea behind it. When I was about 16 years old, my favourite music album was an album called The Strange and Beautiful Collection. And it was a beautiful mix of acoustic and electronic music that had very little in common, apart from the fact that every single track was strange or beautiful or both. I was obsessed with this album. I hope that this collection does for you what that album did for me, that it made you feel inspired to actually create beautiful things, to celebrate being different. I got really deep there, didn't I? But this collection means a lot to me. Some of you watching will understand what I'm trying to say here, but I really wanted to share the message and the idea behind this collection with you that creating a growing space that speaks to you, that's individual, that's tailored to you, that's a good thing. 
being different is good. And if your growing space makes you smile, if your plants make you smile, if they bring you that little bit of happiness, then wow, that is a fantastic result. And I just wanted to get that off my chest and share that with you. I really hope that you enjoy this collection and I really hope that you get the idea behind it. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Your support is very much appreciated. I've got to get back to work now. These plants aren't going to pop themselves up. Until next time, guys. See you later.